how how are you supposed to complain about that? Be like, go up to the TL, hey man, I, I gotta fight my boy in winter semis. Like, can, can we get it switched, please? <laughs> you can't really do that either. Nah, you can't be doing that. This, it, it's bound to happen eventually, you know? Yeah. Of course, this matchup has always been bound to happen eventually, especially in the 818 area. They kind of carry this matchup a little bit around them, especially around the local scene here in SoCal. Let's start. Enough introduction, man. Let's just jump into it. Now, 14% onto, uh, onto the Nico, but that's what he's saying. He's just gonna keep it up, keep the damage on him. Back here, into the double, oh. there, into the fair! Yeah, it's a pretty Quick big star. opener, yeah, it's a pretty big opener for Zanu, and Nico kind of taking a moment of time to kind of calm himself down, see how he's gonna get the game plan, but that roll immediately gets punished from three down, I'm sorry, two down air. Yeah, at that point, you know, you can't like get to you, just gotta tell yourself, you know, I didn't start this game with three stars, you know? I'm, I started this game with one but I'm, star. But I'm gonna make sure I finish, you know? Yeah, I only <laughs> I only need one to win this game, you know? Yeah. Alright, you don't need to catch it now. All that opportunity here with the shield, but not hard. Alright, there's the forward smash from Nico Biz. You know, answers some damage, he has to try and find a way to trap and send his landing. Neutral neutral yet again. Zenyu looking for more neutrals, but he really the stuffs them out. He's got the sword and the range. He sees blood in the water. Can he get the smash hard kill? He goes for the up tilt, but great air dodge from Zenyu. Throws him off stage. Nico immediately switching into the jump bar. Nice that forward smash. Okay. Right. He takes the stock. A little bit of momentum swinging into his favor. He's got 80%. Switching his speed. Trying to give Zenyu the run around. I like it because at the end of the day, it comes down to a kind of a boxing match situation. You want to tire your opponent so you can start landing in your heads. Switching out to the shield, are you able to grab the ledge at the last second after getting hit by the game? Yeah, that was real lucky they grabbed the ledge there. You know, if you don't and you try and up to you, it's just going to probably go the wrong way. Yeah. Alright, there's the photo. Gets the down tilt, forces the boss You see Bastar come out. I don't think we really saw that at all in his last set versus Zen, but it's definitely out here against Zenyu. Well, that's kind of the thing about Let's Draw, too. Like, it's either I deal 70% or I take 70%. Yeah. But not only that, it's also great as a pressure tool because it does more damage to the shield as well. And he can really see Blood of the Water tries to take Zenyu off the side of the stage. Alright, yeah. goes for the uh, backslap. I like it. Landing with the shield, I immediately can no more anything from Zenyu. Especially getting a stop. Yeah, he knows Zenyu's gonna try and kill him on landing. He's in the shield already, but he's not gonna have it to survive that back though. Yes, and he's so far running momentum here. Nico takes a moment of time on the Angel platform just to calm himself. Immediately comes into the ledge, but bringing him back to the stage. I think it. Mash art out again. He has Nico or Zenyu on the ledge. Goes for the walk up grab. Zenyu goes no farther. The nail's gonna force him off again. There. Goes for the down tilt. Not gonna find it. <laughs> what is this kind of throwing out his Zenyu? Finally gonna make him count though. I mean, it, I mean, it's kind of like understanding like Nico's trying to space out Zenyu and then give him the runaround, but at that point, like Zenyu was staying on him for the chase. He doesn't want to like, give Zenyu the spacing, especially with the Sir character. <sighs> Missing the drive would have been pretty good opportunity for Nico to reset the end of our chase. Okay, so far. Nico looking for an opportunity here, and Zenyu kind of give him the run around instead, but I'll tell on the anti and the DI, and look like Zenyu was not ready for that one. Yeah, honestly, I kind of like Nico's play here in this last stock. You know, he's not going in on Zenyu as much, but instead making Zenyu try and find Nico, jumping around with these neutralists, hoping one's going to open Zenyu up eventually, but not really forcing the issue. The back air. I mean, we talk about having a lead here, but winning the neutral is really big. So far, Nico out here running a lot of tons of the neutral. Buster Art gonna do a little more pressure on the shield. Nice, get the crab. Buster Art running out. Nico has to make a switch here. Yeah, the thing about, uh, you know, the percentage lead in this matchup is it really just tells you who won neutral last. Exactly. You know, because it feels like anytime one of them wins neutral, all of a sudden they're in the lead. Exactly. Like, you could be 126%, but you can carry out Zenyu to the depths. Yeah, and, you know, here on the West Coast, here in SoCal, we know where Nico stock is. Yeah, exactly. He's a master of it. We literally started to call him Nico Mope, and that helps smash. Yeah, that's going to do it. You know, caught him jumping 
goes for the up smash, catches it, and he's gonna take it. Yeah, I mean, Zane was not too far behind. Neither was Nico, and he kind of understood, like, he might be going for an aerial option at this point. So let me punish the jump out of shield with an up smash. Kind of what it's for, it literally just great anti airs. And think about it now, compared to Smash 4 and Ultimate, it actually has a dead zone, too, so... Let's see how things will go for Nico in the next game. Of course, this is winner Semi, best of five. First point going on to Zenyu. Nico still has opportunities to make a comeback. Let's we'll see how things go. I mean, he wasn't too far off last game. And like we said, he started the game off with missing a stock. You know, he just didn't have his first stock. If he's able to, you know, play with all three, though, I, it looks real good for him. Yeah. And even though he wasn't able to play all three, look how close he got. The only problem is that he got a little bit uh, too jump high. Yeah, we're gonna see the run back to Pokemon Stadium too. Not very surprising. I mean, for all my uh, Bonetta R aficionados, in case you guys are wondering the time on each Bonetta R, jump has 6 seconds, speed has 8 seconds, shield with 6 seconds, and then Buster with 10 seconds. That's the longest lasting Bonetta R. And of course, Smash has 8 seconds. Okay, well, so far, Speed R running out. Of course, the cooldown time for Speed is going to be 16 seconds. Oh, and the run off forward air in Smash R. He's finally able to get that. He wasn't able to find that at all in the first game, but now he does have the lead. On the field, finally gets one to open up. Links into the grab. Both of into the down throw. Gonna pop the new up and onto the ledge. I like it, kind of giving him a little bit of a fadeaway. Letting go a little bit of the ledge. That way he can get Zinni on a whip punish. Using the backslash as an active hitbox and she can touch the ledge. They're doing a lot to kind of give Zinni the slip around this time. But Zinni gets the forward throw. Edge guard face into Zinni's hands. Okay, and I like it. Zinni immediately Nico going for the cross up to try to get a little bit away. Yet again, the anti air up smash is such a classic. Yeah, it, a lot of Nico's approach tools are going to be jumping neutral, jumping forward air. You know, if he's able to space himself correctly, can just up smash him out of it. He's not going to be able to get the back air. Nico pushing a little bit of advantage slowly. Nice. Guys, in the platform, he gets another neutral air. Smash is out, and the forward air at the ledge catches the neutral air, but now it's a great lead here for Nico. It's kind of the pressure he's been dealing with anyone without the ledge, right? He's been going for a little bit different options. He's been going for the downs a little more often. He's been looking for his needs coming back on the stage. Nico loves to go with these fadeaways back there because he knows that he's so thirsty to come back at him. Okay, down throw into dash attack. Buster Art gonna make that check. Okay, that might have been big for Zenny because that forward air, but even Nico kind of stops himself. This is the jump art, so Nico take, uh, Shulka actually take 1.3 times more damage in this one. Alright, so what is He's trying to space Zenyu out right now. I don't like that he's jumping in with these nails, you know? He doesn't have to. Oh, and he tried to walk oh. away, but he's still alive, man. Even in the smash art. Yeah, Talk about resilience. Land with the shield art, you know? Great stuff there. If he landed with smash art, he would likely have lost his stop. Yeah. Forward to Nico with two stocks in his hands, looking for the edge guard here. I like he was trying to go for the runaway for, uh, runoff forward air, but he nearly just came back to the stage. You know, I don't see it. Might as well just come back and secure the whole game and that backslash. And oh, Zenyu faces away. Why are you trying to him? Why are you edge guard with back to You know that backslash is coming out. It does do more when you're facing the wrong way. Yeah, of course, backslash on double the knockback. It's, it's named backslash for yeah. a reason. Exactly. It's in the name. <sighs> Pretty big, man. All right, well, nonetheless, Nico takes another point. So Nico takes the first point here in the set. Game three, pretty big tie turner. Of course, one gets put on set point. And of course, counter pick advantage. And such to go into it. Of course, BS2 has been the name of the game so far. Yeah, it's really going to come down to who can win this game. If you are able to win this flex game three, going into game five, you have the Exactly. So it's a pretty crucial game. Some of the tie turners are one on game three. Immediately going to the shield art. Of course, those of you wanting shield art does have an 18 second cooldown. Down throw, here comes the damage from Zenyu. Into the up there, almost killing off the top already. I feel like we had seen Zenyu getting a lot of math against Nico, but he yeah. able to find one and open him up for 100%. 
because we talked about it, right? Even though Zenyu has a percent on Nico, it's neutral exchanges. Yeah, it just means Zenyu won the last neutral exchange. <laughs> okay, Nigga and Minato are activated, but they're not ready yet. Well, it has 120%. I mean, if you might be switching to any of the arts, it might be either the jump or the speed, I was going to say. Yeah, words so out of my mouth. Speed seems to be the go-to in neutral when it's up to a lot of the shoulders. Kind of the meta game, right? Because you would think Buster would be the one to lead right now. You have a great percent and a great lead, but Buster is a really good pressure tool. Oh, he's not. Oh, where did he go? He was on screen for a whole frame and a half before he could die. Okay, well, definitely got Zinya 97 percent. He gets something with the smash power while still activated. Only eight seconds to make that play. Looks for the up and doesn't find it. Goes to the up to one last three draw, but doesn't get it. Speed art comes out now with one hit though. That full jab, unfortunately, he's gonna get poked by it. I like it going to the shield to drop. Make sure he gets a little bit more weight so Zinyan will lose the combo with that. Oh, and the platform saving him right there from landing. Maybe he goes forward smash. Nice. Right here up tilt. Smash R. Nico's got 88%. He's got 8 seconds on the clock to make it work. Oh, nice, though. great tomahawk grab. Not gonna do it, but he does have the option to run off and throw it at Smash Heart run onto out though. Great low recovery from Zen. Tries to go for the air slash out of the shield there, but unfortunately Zenny's not gonna budge. How's the voter? Gonna go down? No. Girl, nice, resets the edge guard phase. Nico looking for an opportunity here at this point. He has to guess the right one and Zenny immediately goes to the neutral get up option. Straight down the road from Zenyu. Try to look real in his favor. The shield art, I mean, Nico's having a oh, tough time just getting this third stock off of him. Nico went neutral here, but he's not even gonna get the kills. It's pretty tough. Tries to go for the air, the reverse air slot. Zenyu refuses to be up air. You know, on people going below against Nico sounds so scary, you know, you have to be aware of the run on the But the angle that Zenyu's recovering at, where he's going so low, right under the leg, Nico can't get up, get behind him to forward air. Yeah. And at this point, look at the combos that he's able to pull in Nico. He's kind of in his head. Yeah, Nico's gonna need to pull something out from behind right now. Yeah. Looking to get the Buster R, not as a catch up, but to feel more pressure against Zenyu, because he's been going for shield a lot. Nico knows they need to play the safety game here. And it's kind of also understanding for Nico, like, I probably should be looking to space out my arrows just a bit more. Zinny's going to be holding that shield a little bit longer. I don't want to get punished like that for going for an option. And there's he the tries up to smash. land on him. The, 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 the up smash. That's kind of been the opportunity for Zinny. Like, he's been winning a lot of these stocks with the up smash. Nico kind of just blowing his eyes. I know he's not a fan of fighting Mara at all. Oh, yeah. Especially, you know, when you gotta fight Zenyu every single week, like, I, it, it's gotta get stressful. Yeah. I mean, definitely, compared to Smash 4 and Ultimate, Nico definitely up a lot on Zenyu, for sure. I mean, he's actually ranked, like, number two in the Smash from the main season. Right, only, only being behind him, of course. Yeah, I'm hip, uh, getting a lot of points. Three, two, for those of you wondering in the SoCal Go. Ultimate League, the Zenyu is actually ranked 8th and Nico number 2, so it kind of says about their place here when it comes down to the Yahoo. Ultimate League. Well, let's go into game 4 here. I mean, now Nico from behind is with a set point in his hands. See what he can do. I mean, last game, Nico had a pretty big, tough time just trying to hit him with any of his aerials. And it kind of came up to the fact that, like, Zenyu just kind of punished afterwards. Right? He was like, hit me with a forwarder, fine, I'll hit you with an out of shield option. And now we're kind of seeing Nico kind of hold it back. Nice, punishes the shield. Yeah. Right back to the way he kind of played the edge guard phase that third, the second game. Right, the shield art comes out, gets him out of that combo, he gets the back though. Zenyu is at 84, he's in a bit of danger, but the jab actually is going to keep him off stage. Nico knows he doesn't want to be off stage in that match. Yeah, he actually got 10 chase too. Zenyu was looking keen to make sure he was going to catch him on the 10 chase. See how Nico's kind of playing a little bit more respect to that shield. He knows what Zinyu's game plan is working for. Right? Doesn't fully space that back up, but he's safe enough that Zinyu can go for an out of shield option. Right, he's kind of pulls back. That's what I'm lucky to see, right? The adaptation. Right, Zinyu's not too far behind. He Ooh. sees the fact that, hey man, you want to hold on to that ledge? Fine. Hold the ledge. Give me the stock. Hold that ledge. You know what you can do with that too? <laughs> hold that L right there. You're going to get the forward air. 
jump. Nice. Oh, oh, he slipped from the down air. Sorry, the down smash. Wait, he just oh, he picked up a jump. He is dead at thirty percent. Yeah, now you want to talk about upset players, man? Nico is a man who's upset. Not happy how that game three turned out. Yeah, he is a man with a mission right now here against Zenyu. Hopefully, mission will be complete at one fifty-one percent, man. It's the number of Pokemon in the first gen, <laughs> and especially yeah, on PS2. PS2 yeah. Switching the jump art using the back oh, Great air dodge there from Senyu. He went out to his guard, recognized the back dodge, and coming in just instead air dodge out of it. Art went 66, and Nico goes deep, and he dies! And he does it. And that's a three stock for Nico on game four. <laughs> Yo, man, revenge for revenge, man. This is the battle of friendship for the good. battle of the 818. I'm telling you, man, the 818 doesn't play. Man, they don't, they don't play games, man. They don't play games. Senyu right now. Hey, when you don't play games, man, we're really out here. We'll have, we'll have WCW with a 40 man entrance, but you know, we got a lot of hard hitters for 40 entrance, dude. I'll tell you that for sure. But, anyways, game five. This is what it's come down to, right? Nico's adaptation against Zenyu. That's what he was doing, right? He's kind of understand. You want to play the shield game? Fine. But if I'm spacing and punishes, let's go back to how I edge guarded game two. That'll pay off. And you know, Nico starts off hot putting Zenyu on the edge. Goes to the up air and the up tilt, not finding anything. Then they're eating through the fireball. Oh, they are doing so much work for Nico. Only 51% on Zenyu. Zenyu not able to find a way in. And as I say that, he can double down him. Goes for an up air afterwards and doesn't find a follow up. Alright, well, so far, Zenyu looking for the spacing. Well, I can look at the whip punish and finds Nico on the landing. So he's off stage, he gets to the smash bar and air. I like the neutral air there because it covers the arc, so I oh, knew yeah. that Zinni was going to the air dodge. So it's the back you're almost getting the stock not going to quite yet. Oh, though. he scared him off, dude. In that situation, Zinni knew he might have been going for a forward air. Yeah, and I think if he did air dodge, it would have been the forward air. You know, that mm -hmm. was a great reaction on Nico's part to pull back. Exactly. Good, good use of scare tactics. Sometimes you can edge guard just with your presence. You don't have to actually throw anything out. Yeah. <laughs> That's what kind of makes you know Nico in the sense of God in that situation. I literally have you in fear. Now we'll see so far. Then you trying to not show any signs of fear. He's looking for an opportunity here against Nico. The one thing he was doing so good is catching the landing like that shield game punish, and he gets a tomahawk ground and gene. I like his reverse, paying respects to the backslash, and how that situation played out. Find the punish afterwards, not on the landing. He's got an active hitbox. Yeah, I really like how he has been recovering high with the backside. You know, he has that long last hitbox that you can't really go out there and challenge him on. Yeah, he gets a roll, and I like it, trying to use a cross up back. He doesn't even try to go for a grab at that situation. He used to give it a kind of shield option. It's a shield art, he's got 150%. He really goes for the up tilt just to cover his enemy's landing. I think Nico knows he loves to go for revenge hits on the landing. Back it. Yeah, Smash Art 2, you are gone, my friend, but, you know. He goes still with a pretty hefty move here in the center. He's an open opportunity. Gets that down there, able to pull through the shield. Finds an opportunity, and he holds the shield down the first match. This is big for Zenyu. That's not what you want to be doing. And now Zenyu really trying to figure out how he can combo Nico when he's in shield. And now he's going in on it. Able to almost even up this percent. Only a 20% difference now. Well, I, I like that option because he goes up high. Way too many invincibility because he's jumping and then he rounds the forward and the second invincibility has out. Like you said, man, you want to hold the ledge, you can hold another thing from there. You can hold the L. Send you back on the fray here. He's been doing a pretty good job just trying to punish Nico on the landings. And Nico finally gets into his face and gets the crap. Catching Nico going for a tomahawk option. Sorry, but down for that tackle the buster just looks so gross. But the fate coming out for Zenyu, he is down to Nico's last stock. Each actually. Yeah, he knew it was, it was part of Nico's game plan. He knew that Nico switches to Smash Heart. Oh he wants God, to take this home. Yeah, honestly, with this red mode on, Zenyu just doesn't want to be fighting Nico right now. Yeah. Nico's got to be careful when he goes off the stage. At this point, Zenyu's kind of catching up on the offstage play, especially using that cape, showing signs that he knows he's going to go for the uh, air slash. But Nico switching to Shield Dart and reduces his weight, but he takes the combo from the pain. I mean, that Nico is kind of at a scary percent. Yeah, especially with jump art. 
Okay, I like it. Uses the jump height to actually get away from the possible damage. Alright, smash, smash hard. hard. This is going to be the decider. Not going to find that up though. But the up to Ash on shield gets punished with an air slash in Smash Hard, and that's going to be game.